Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Explains TV. My name is Melanie Ruiz. Please stand to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, 22nd, 2022. Now let's take a brain break. Feeling frozen? Really still? Now little by little, begin to melt. Let your chin stay low as your face softens and melts. Your jaw opens slightly. Your eyes blink open just a little. Your mouth and cheeks melt and feel soft. You're melting. Let your shoulders melt and go down. Hands let go. Arms glide down to your sides, melting. Let your legs melt too. Soften and bend. Melt. Try to melt all the way to the floor. Down, down, down. Let yourself be a blob, a puddle on the floor. Ah, melted all the way to soft. Exhale long. Once frozen and tight, and now melted. That's a cool way to relax our minds. Now let's see what's happening today in history with Nia. Hi Patriots, today in history, Althea Gibson became the first black competitor in a U.S. national tennis competition on August 22, 1950. Officials of the United States Lawn Tennis Association, USLTA, accepted Althea Gibson into their annual championship at Forest Hills, New York, making her the first African American player to compete in the U.S. national tennis competition. When she was just 12 years old, she became the women's paddle tennis champion for New York City. Wow, she really was an amazing person. Now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Nia. Today's lunch is corn dog, sweet potato fries, diced pears, and your choice of milk. Students, please keep in mind that lunch can change at any time and don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Valencia, I can't wait for lunch. Scholars, Testing started last week. Make sure to keep doing your best on these tests. Teachers, take a look on your schedule to see when it's your time to test. Today, first through second grade will be testing iReady Math and seventh grade will be taking their civics benchmark test. Good luck. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policy. Make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpack at all times. Now let's see what the weather's going to be like with Alexander. Thank you, Melanie. Patriots, today weather is a nice 91 degrees Fahrenheit with scattered thunderstorms. If you're heading out, make sure to suit up to stay dry. In other weather news, Poland found a great way to be greener. The Polish city of Gdansk brought in 15 sheep to help maintain grass fields. They did this as an alternative to gas-powered lawnmowers. Research also shows that when the sheep are present, we disappear. It was successfully done in Belgium and Spain too. Not only this helped the environment, it gives these sheep a tasty snack to eat. Now let's go to Destiny and Chanel for Hot Topic. Hey Chanel. Hey Destiny. It's good to be back. Welcome back Patriots to Hot Topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. Congratulations. We have officially made it to the first week Patriots. Hope you had a great summer and are ready to get back on track. Can't believe we made it. Muscle cars like Dodge Challengers and Chargers, Ford Mustangs, and Chevrolet Camaros are being discontinued in December 2023. Sales of these cars fell by 43% from their last decade peak in 2015. What a shocker. Watch out while buying Capri Suns. Their parent company, Kraft Heinz, has recalled almost 5,700 of their Wild Cherry Capri Suns. 
Apparently, they had cleaning solutions in the drink. Well, there goes my childhood. Surprise, surprise. Girl Scout cookies are back with a new recipe. They recently created a cookie inspired by Thin Mints Raspberry Rally. They will be available online and can be sent to your home. I'll be on the lookout. That's it for this week, Patriots. Now let's go to Sophia for the birthdays. Thank you, Destiny and Chanel. Today's birthday boys and girls are Tiffany Brown, Paola Estoesta, Priscilla Fabrizi, Caden Fontil, Pedro Fidrinch Varga, Angelina Herthiol, Amona Ochoa, and Eric Renzi. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Sophia. Patriots, here are your packed expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat your school environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for today's daily challenge. What question can you never say yes to? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a marvelous Monday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence and education. Have a great day!